The 5th International Aerospace Show MAX 2001 will take place from August 14 through August 19, 2001 at the airfield of the Gromov Flight Research Institute. Lines of buses will stretch toward the airfield in the town of Zhukovsky. Dozens of thousands of people will come to watch the dream that has come true, to listen to the stable motor pulse of dozens of aircraft. The sky over one of the longest takeoff and landing strips in the world will burst into thunder just like in the good old times. Conference halls, chalets and pavilions will be filled with a multi-language stir. Fans of the most fascinating hobby in the world will find themselves in the middle of the dispute over the future of aviation. The next generation of the aircraft people will be looking with the eyes wide open at all that will be taking place on the ground and in the sky. Such air shows are not new in this country. Although in the past this action was called in a more proud and Soviet way, if you like, the air parade. The most famous among them at Tushin and Damodedov attracted huge masses of people. It is the Air Force Day today, a dear holiday of the Soviet people. As always, the Tushina Air Parade is the main event of the holiday. In the morning, thousands of Moscovites started toward Tushina. The turbojet missile carriers. The naval aircraft group. The supersonic fighters with missiles under the wings. And now, meet the brand new aircraft. Brief comments on the fighters, bombers and helicopters flying over the airfield did not contain any information of their flight characteristics. Moreover, most of the audience did not know even the names of the mighty samples of our glorious aviation. While everyone knew for sure, until all this might is in the air, one can live and work easy. Yes, this sounded somewhat naive. However, to the so-called interested people in the world, all this unrestrained joy served as an absolutely definite sign. From its birth, aviation has been reflecting the level of the scientific and technological development. The mighty wings of the great nation. Glory to those who create these wings. The wings of the communism building country. Years passed. One aircraft was replacing the other, more powerful and no less terrible. The process of thinking has never stopped among designers, engineers and test experts. Generations of aircraft and helicopters were coming and going. The aviation was changing just like the country itself. The new economic situation required an aviation forum similar to the world-famous air shows, Le Bourget in France, Farnborough in England. Unlike the air parades performed in this country in the past, the new event, besides the attraction, was supposed to have a pure pragmatic scope. That is to help aircraft producers from all over the former USSR to elaborate a joint development path in the modern conditions to preserve the accumulated experience and to try not to interrupt the domestic aviation evolutionary development. It was clear that such an aerospace show planned as an international one will attract a huge amount of visitors and participants. That is why it was hard to find any better place for the event than the airfield at Zhukovsky. 
Its enormous airfield allowed to accommodate both the static parking lot and the exhibition pavilions, while its minor remoteness from Moscow and the main transportation routes facilitated delivery of people to the event. The Moss Air Show 92 became the Max's first trial. For the first time since the 1967 Domodedovo Air Parade, the white public was introduced to the civil and military aircraft to such an extent. And probably for the first time, the static parking lot contained the exhibits to approach which the Western Special Services quite recently made so many efforts. Now anyone can touch or take a photo in front of them. The Yak-38 vertical takeoff and landing aircraft and the Mi-8 helicopter made the opening of the show by jointly towing a flag. Although it wasn't planned, since the Mi-8 replaced the other Yak-38. As the saying goes, better luck next time. One of the Yaks fell down at the general rehearsal. The test pilot Viktor Zabolotsky ejected and landed successfully. Rehearsals are meant to rehearse. The opening was a great success. The audience was introduced to the beautiful aircraft of the Tupolev Design Bureau, the Tu-22M3 supersonic variable geometry wing bomber armed with missiles is used to fight aircraft carriers. The Tu-142M anti-submarine aircraft is a powerful weapon in the fight against nuclear submarines. The Tu-160 supersonic strategic bomber is aimed at fighting the most important enemy facilities with the use of its regular and nuclear armament. In the mid-90s, it made the basis for the Burlock airspace system capable of delivering satellites into the orbit. The M55 High Altitude Supersonic Geophysica, designed at the Masyshiva plant, was made on the basis of a reconnaissance aircraft. It is used as a flying laboratory to perform atmosphere research and ecological monitoring. The civil aviation at the Moss Air Show was represented by the Il-114 turboprop aircraft, designed to carry from 60 to 70 passengers, the Il-96 wide-body long-range aircraft and the Tu-204 airliner, which is used at middle-range routes. The flight analog of the Buran shuttle, of course, became the hit of the static exposition. While yet another representative of the Energia Buran space rocket complex was already circling in the sky. The VMT aircraft specifically designed to deliver certain elements of the space system. Altogether, there were 114 aircraft shown at the Moss Air Show 92, and the exhibition was attended by almost 300,000 people. The results proved that the place for the air show was well chosen. All the airdrome services worked all right and based thereupon, a decision was taken to make the first international aerospace show in Zhukovsky the following year. <laughs>